don't get stuck in the past. Get all the latest news and happenings on blockchain and cryptocurrency only on Crypto TV Plus. Hello and welcome to Crypto TV Plus. My name is Faith Equari. If you're watching us for the first time, do well to follow us on all our social media platforms um, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram at Crypto TV Plus. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and turn on the post notifications whenever we release a new video. Now, non fungible tokens have achieved unimaginable feats and attention from the arts industry to sports, metaverse, music, gifts, memes to connecting and building strong communities. Today, we have one of the biggest NFT communities in Nigeria who have contributed to the NFT space greatly, no other than NFT NG. Now, with us today is the co founder of NFT NG, Joe, who will be discussing everything NFTs, what NFT NG is all about, what it has been up to now the upcoming nft event in nigeria and lots more Joey, it's nice to have you here nice to have you too thank you so much amazing how does it feel to be here today i mean it feels great um you know there's a whole lot of workload um, <laughs> really sort of like the work being put into making sure that the event comes into you know comes to life and i mean it's totally a success because certainly we're going to talk about the event um mm. before before we wrap up Tell us what NFT NG is all about. Okay, so um, I mean NFT NG, you know, just that's the name NFT Nigeria. Um, so first things first, I mean, we'd have to talk about the name, the mm -hmm. name, where did the name originate from? Um, I mean, so we came up with the NFT NG concept as you know, a name of where okay, we have this concept of actually bringing the community, the NFT community, because we have a very huge community of the NFT people here in Nigeria. So we thought of, okay, why not us just um, create an NFT themed event, you know, to be able to gather this community around, you know, bring them together and um, sort of show the global scale, the level of innovations and creativity we have in our space. So we thought of, okay, let us use NFT NG first um, to show that this was where the idea started from, you know, the whole idea of bringing people together. So we're looking to explore Africa and beyond, you know, because this is more of Africa, because I mean, a lot of people have asked us, why did you use the tag ng are you guys trying to restrict yourself but like no just to show that this is where we started from and you know to go beyond on there and then so like nft ng basically like i said you know it's an event you know centered around bringing or propagating the african creatives to the global scale to make people understand you know um the global blockchain tech let them understand that okay this is less there's a certain level of creativity huge level of talent mm -hmm. down here in africa and, you know, so we thought of this is an event, you know, to show them, you know, have something to onboard more people as well as also showing them the existing level of creativity here in Africa. Amazing. Nigeria, um, when NFTs came out, it came out with a certain level of hype that a lot of people were riding on. And some people criticized that hype, like NFTs do not have anything to, to offer. Um, what do you think are the benefits of NFTs, you know, in providing solutions to real world problems? Now I'm talking in different sectors from real estate, politics, to entertainment, mm. um, to education. What are some of the real use cases we can use these NFTs for? All right. Um, I mean, NFTs, most importantly, you know, I remember when I started off NFTs, I, I could remember vividly I was into meme tokens and I was just in a random community with a set of, you know, digits and it was just a very close community. And, you know, somebody, I mean, that day I just walked into the, I just walked into like the group chat that day and I found out that everybody on their space was using a particular P PFP. So I was like, are you guys now like probably practicing For cults? People that don't know what is PFP. <laughs> uh, that's um, basically profile pictures, you okay. know, um, okay. it's basically what you used to represent. So like, I mean, these guys had like PFPs on and everybody was like, I'm like, ah, you guys have started another thing again. Like, this is a new, <laughs> this is really new to me. And I'm like, hope you guys are not course. I'm like, what is going on? So that night I was introduced and somebody just told me, oh, so there's something called NFTs. And then they told me about CryptoPunk. And, you know, from CryptoPunk, they had to tell me about how it was BNB Punk and told me about the price. Obviously, that's what's going to catch my attention. Exactly. <laughs> so, and then it went from that and they made me understand, they just gave me an history, you know, to make me understand that the same thing happened on Ethereum. It was successful. It happened on BNB. It was successful. So why wouldn't it happen? I was talking about SoulPunks. Okay. So, and then that was how we had to create it. You know, we had to... Um, put some effort into making sure that there was a marketplace, which is the first marketplace Solana had, you know. And then from there, you know, we started off like the whole journey, 
and how to today. So, but like for me, when I when I like actually like took my time to now look deep into it, I found out that like NFT is most importantly for me. The first major thing there is like the storage capability. You know, being able to store information, and then people um, store information in real time. And then have things being recorded on like on time. So most importantly, to look at the real estate part, I'm going to take it from like the real estate part. Most importantly, first thing, um, say for example, you have um, a level, you have um, a piece of land. Most importantly, if you can't store your C of O, you know, you know, we have issues here. Most importantly, in Lagos, some people will buy land in Lekki, and uh, once they buy land in Lekki, <laughs> they have the whole issue. I mean. I bought a land in Lekki, for example, most of and you go there. By the time you go there, you see, you know, men that would chase you with cutlass mm -hmm. off, like, leave your land, and you have nothing to do about it. Not even the government, because I'm of you, you're protecting your life. Yes. So you just leave it. So, for example, if you have things like that, C of O, you bought a land together with somebody. When you have C of O, you know, being probably represented or made as a form of NFTs, mm -hmm. there is no way anybody will be able to context say stuff. exactly context. Or so somebody wants to shoot you or... You cannot kill me because I'm here. Of the, it's in the blockchain. So what do you want to do about it? Mm -hmm. So it's already stamped because it is only going to happen once. So we talk about that from the real estate side. When we look at politics, we talk about voting systems. I was, you know, we talked about like I mean there are like four major type of blockchain. And then if you look at, we have the hybrid. We have like uh, consensus. You know, um, I think it's uh, the consortium, um, consortium on blockchain that has a kind of way for basically only um, voting systems. Okay. So when you look at that, you know that, okay, yes. When you look at NFTs, you know, we have people correctly creating NFTs, you know, for voting systems. Because once they cast this thing, like I said, the major thing about the whole blockchain space that people do not really know is the timestamp. So once you can capture this timestamp once, if it happens once, I mean, there's no way it can happen again. So if we have NFTs as a system of voting, for example, once you cast your um, vote, you know, it's able to only record it once and then it's not, you know... Um, so we can have situations again. like we have in previous elections in Nigeria. I Let's say definitely it, don't it, think it just so. can't happen. Of course. Um, so there are a lot of challenges. You know, when we talk about NFTs, there are you know, as we are looking at the pros, we're also looking at the cons of, of it. Of course, and there especially is. in this part of the country, it's not uh, NFTs have not been you know, you know, riding on the best of you know environment. Um, looking at the challenges we face in the NFT space, from artists to buyer fees, you sure. know, gas fees. <laughs> um, Ethereum Edge said no, no gas fee. Really. So <laughs> has to be there. You know, to so energy usage, rock pools, and so much more. Mm. How do we address these concerns? You know, especially in this space where we want NFTs to be more evident. All right. So um, I'll just say most importantly first uh, um, uh, to look at uh, the case of internet you know when internet started you know i mean internet has been for a while you know like not even a while a whole long while ago so like um i do tell a lot of my friends that you know get to talk to me and when i tell them about the old blockchain space i just believe that this space is still new mm -hmm. uh, there's a whole level of um Improvement. chance you know yeah. level you know to be able to improve you know but uh, in as much as we have this level of um improvements and everything i think for now what people should just really be focused on is um come into the space or when you look at like the whole blockchain to now talk of nfts mm -hmm. because nft for me it's just like it's an innovation you know that um further um, um propagates the whole concept of decentralization so um i felt i um, what i would tell people is more people should really come into the space less of oh coming for the money in as much as we're still here for the money though but when people look at the space from a level of innovations people tend to be more open to creativity mm. to be able to actually make the space better so when when um, um for example i'm you know i'm coming from this place and i understand that okay this is these are like the certain pros these are the like certain cons you know when i understand this place i'm like okay this is the bad side of it this is the good side of it i'm able to make the necessary you know things or move and i have like the necessary understanding so about the gas fees about the rug pools about everything i just think people should be more focused on the tech when they understand the tech you understand everything about it they will be able to navigate the space properly and then think of future okay amazing things. still riding on that question of course. um why do you think we don't have good number of creators and sellers you know of nfc's in africa as much as we have in the western part of the world is it because we you know we have not experienced that haha -ha moment that big moment of okay this is what nfts can do right hmm. or do you think it's because our economy is not um really at the point where um we have the value mm. to actually, you know, 
um, exchange for these NFTs? What exactly is the problem? Why, do, why don't we have that much creators in the ecosystem? Okay, so I'll try to throw a question back to you, but like, um, being about, I'm talking about creators. Are you talking about our one of one creators or like creators of like collections of, of projects? Yes, yes, creators of collection of. All right, the, then, if, if that's it, then, yes. because I mean, if we look, if we, if we talk about the one of one ads, I mean, we know that. Mm -mm, yes, we have. That like a whole we lot have of them, tons, yes. Of course. But in, in, in the space of collections, why don't we have that much? All right, so uh, the space of collection, <laughs> I think one of the, um, the major issues, if I mean, the economic issues are there. Uh, but most importantly, I think is the orientation and also our demograph. You know, when we when we look at like uh, the level of building, you know, ha, building a project as a collection, you need deep rooted understanding, and I think we lack that. There's a whole level of so ignorance. So there's a space, there's a bridge, or yeah. a very long bridge of education. Yeah, we have like the the interest. We have like a level of interest from our space here, but I think more of what felt the first the interest is the economic situation of everybody. Sure. Everybody just hears about the fact that, you know, there was this guy that, you know, snapped um, snapped a baba mm -hmm. and, no, you know, posted it. I mean, and so next thing you saw from that what happened was like, some people poured Gary on the floor <laughs> and, you know, pictures. and took the pictures <laughs> and tried to sell it for like <laughs> one Ethereum. So, you know, obviously from that, you notice that hmm, these people are like, they do not even know what they are coming into, but they just want to make the money. Yes. So I think if we can bridge the gap of understanding, just like I said, going back again, understanding the text, understanding what the space is about, understanding community building, understanding all of these things, it would be able to help us actually scale and build. I mean, there's always room for improvement. Let us start out first. It might not be easy at first, but I mean, I think later on, they'll be able to improve our And I think one of the differences yeah. between, you know, this part of the country or this part of the world to, you know, the Western part is the forefronters of whatever they're doing is I want to build and I want to help. Mm. The forefronters here is I want to make money, then build, then develop, <laughs> then make money. So I think, you know, bridging that gap and making sure that we now understand and get back to the point where we understand that it is about building. Mm. Let's see where this thing can go. And mm. then from there, I think the money will just come in, you know. Um, yeah, money so, follows innovation. Yes, yeah. yes, exactly. Now, I understand your event is coming up soon. Now, tell us about the event. What are uh, attendees to expect? Your vision? Um, let's let's talk about event first. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I know everybody's excited. Everybody's buzzing. You know, just like the tag word of like the team of the event is the Web3 buzz. Okay. You know, um, I mean, please, I mean, people should come around. Um, expect um, um, certain level of, I mean, not even certain level, high level of understanding of, you know, uh, what NFTs are, you know, um, expect a lot of onboarding. And that's why we've gone out of our way to actually um, bring in more of like Web2 people uh, to, you know, we have like the likes of a couple musicians that are already like aware of the events and, you know, would show up for the events. And more of like, uh, I'd, 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 I've always been saying something on Twitter spaces whenever we talked about NFTNG. I said that whatever you see, whatever NFTNG did right from our collection creation, from the very beginning, it was all in line with our mission and vision, which is to propagate the African creatives, you know, so as much as even onboard more people to let them know that, okay, this is what's going on. So yeah, we've been able to actually like reach out to a lot of people that can, you know, help us fine tune, you know, people being onboarded because there's certain things that captures, you know, the web two people or like just normal people coming into it. Mm -hmm. We also wanna, hit the Gen Z's because a lot of people are actually like a lot of Gen Z's want to know about these things but they don't know the channel or that the proper way just to. complicated complex simple something like what is NFT is NFT <laughs> just three words and then it's still complicated and it's yeah complex. we're gonna have like screens that's I mean we literally have screens that day that would be showing what NFTs are like from the very beginning so I think even by just entering into the arena I think you should be able to learn what NFTs are by just looking at the screen you know for like a couple minutes uh, we expect like huge innovators that have been able to actually build one or two things that have proper knowledge mm -hmm. in this space. We're expecting to have them as our speakers. We're going to have a conference um, after which we're going to have like a space for NFT projects that already existing, you know, sort of raffles, sort of um, from there, you know, would we'll move on to, 
you know, um, an after party to just have our communities, you know. Yeah, connect and network. Connect and network. So I, I think the networking part of it should be like the major thing here because, like I said, one of the major goals is to propagate as well as onboard new people, new into, people this space. into this space. Yeah. Uh, do we have access? Are we going to have access to uh, when and where this? Um, events is of course, yeah. So the event is going to be um, holding at um, Bamorial, Bamorial Hall, um, at Federal Palace Capital Hotel. Okay. Um, so, but the Bamorial Event Center, that's where we're going to be holding it on uh, November 11th. Okay. Um, so, I mean, it's it's going to be packed. It's going to be very packed because uh, we've we've imputed time, uh, we've imputed energy into this, and then. Um, one of the things I'd, I'd like to touch on is an our NFT collection. So we created an NFT collection, not because we wanted to create an NFT collection, but like I said, everything we did was in line with our vision. With the vision. vision. Yeah. So we wanted people to understand that there is a whole lot of ways to look at the NFT space. There's a whole lot of ways you could actually innovate. So we thought of, instead of the normal ticketing system, why not we just go through like the NFT ticketing systems? Because you could actually use NFTs for ticketing. Mm. So we thought of, okay, let us creates an NFT, um, let us create like a pass, which shows like a membership pass that allows you to be able to attend the event. You'd have to, you know, come down, you know, show like the QR code, scan it. And um, <clears throat> this basically makes you have like um, that membership pass, like I said, when next we would event, because we're gonna be hosting events constantly, because like I said, just to onboard more people. So whenever we have an event, NFT NG host an event you'd be able to actually have access to it. And as much as a lot of other, you know, added utilities, but like the main utility there is, you know, being able to actually attend an event and be like a member. Amazing. Yeah. You already touched on the vision, but um, let's, let's touch on it again. Your vision is to empower new sets of leaders, you know, creatives and leaders. How, you know, what is the future plans of NFTNG after this? You know, you already talked about, you know, hosting events, are there going to be like a place where people can go, you know, regularly day to day, probably online or offline, you know, to learn more about NFTs, to um, network and connect to people, you know, tell us about your future plans and where you see the future of NFTs, especially in Nigeria and in Africa. Okay, so uh, for like the future of NFT NG, <laughs> NFT NG, uh, the way you said, hmm. yeah, like, you should be ready. <laughs> <laughs> like, are you ready? Definitely, you'd have to be ready. Like, you, you just have to be ready because um, I would say that the team of NFT NG, we are not just random people that just came into this space and just came together to say, oh, let us build something. No, it has been a team of people, you know, that been in this space that have experienced mm -hmm. rug pulls, that have experienced hacks, that have experienced community, um, um, would I say nation, you know, like um, like the, the, um, the agony of the community, you know, mm. we've experienced all of these things. And then, you know, from like, a, from like a, a standpoint of people that have been able to experience these things, you know, that they would be able to know everything, n not literally everything, but I mean, most of like the issues mm -hmm. that's supposed to be tackled. Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, for the future of NFTNG, um, I'm not gonna really say much, but let me just say a few things. We'd expect that it's not really about, yeah, the event is gonna onboard more people, but we're going to have systems to be able to, just like you said, you know, um, train more people, let them be established in this space, you know, help people actually be able to um, let um, let them be able to be known globally because one of the major issues that we have here in Africa as relating to building technology and everything is the fact that a lot of people do not have the platform yes to be able to be seen so would help with propagation you know help people to be seen help people to I mean bring people's um, help people to I mean bring their bring out their talents mm -hmm. let them know that this is what you're supposed to be doing I mean I was talking to a few friends of mine I told them See, at this stage that you are, like in this space, I think you should be learning one skill or the other to be able to actually have an input in this space. So you're also a builder, mm -hmm. one way or the other. So like one of like one of um, all of these things we're going to be having in stock. Uh, we might be adding extra utilities to our um, NFTs. Most importantly, uh, we've not been touching it because a lot of people have been asking us on spaces, and what we're telling them is that please, what really matters is the event. Okay. But we know that we're supposed to do these things, that we want our community to actually enjoy it. We also have something that we actually added to the NFT pass, which is a system of puzzling to just make people have fun in the community. And also like, uh, we have like in mind to actually build like existing, you know, sort of like companies that they're able to, you know, constantly fuel the project movement, as well as a lot of partnership, you know, um, 
we all know that the space thrives on collaborations. Yes. So we would do a lot of collaborations with like needed companies, gaming sector, because <laughs> gaming sector, pretty much educational sector, a lot of different things to just make sure that the project is um, 100. Amazing. Thank you so much for being here and talking to us about NFT NG, NFTs, you know, in a whole and the future of NFTs in Africa. To everyone tuning in, you know, that joined us today, thank you so much for joining in. I am Faith Aquari, you're watching Crypto TV Plus. Keep following us on all our social media platforms, you know, Crypto TV Plus, and subscribe to our YouTube channel um, for more information. Thank you so much. Bye, guys. Don't get stuck in the past. Get all the latest news and happenings on blockchain and cryptocurrency only on Crypto TV Plus.